U.S. Intel officials warning that the country must protect these five technologies if it wants to remain a superpower. Our Eamon Javers has that for us. Good morning, Eamon. Good morning, Carl. U.S. intelligence officials issued a stark warning on Thursday. America's status as a global superpower depends on maintaining a lead in five key technologies for the future. And America's rivals, they say, are trying to steal every one of them. The biggest threat, they say, comes from China, but Russia is also a concern. Officials said they're concerned that foreign theft of American technologies could not only rob the United States of economic leadership in the key sectors, but could threaten the U.S. ability to even remain active in these industries at all. So the sectors of concern to the intelligence community are artificial intelligence, the bioeconomy, autonomous systems, quantum computing, and semiconductors. In a new report, the National Counterintelligence and Security Center wrote, these sectors produce technologies that may determine whether America remains the world's leading superpower or is eclipsed by strategic competitors in the next few years. In each area, officials said, adversary nations have used a blend of legal and illegal methods ranging from hiring talent to mergers and acquisitions to hacking and old-fashioned spycraft, all to steal and replicate American technology. And guys, the intelligence officials I met with at a secure complex outside of D.C. yesterday said companies can take several key steps to mitigate their counterintelligence risks. Those include identifying your organization's crown jewels, setting security standards for your suppliers, partners and investors, and implementing an insider threat program. And they said American businesses just need to understand that Chinese companies are required by Chinese law to share data with the government's state security services. Back over to you guys. Yeah, Eamon, I just think this is fascinating. It reminds me of some of the conversations I've had with defense officials and national security officials over the years around the critical um, uh, relationship that these new emerging technologies are going to play in terms of our own national security uh, outlook and, and defenses, especially as we do put more money towards countering the likes of China in the future. So how much money could we potentially see carved out from the federal government to go towards these initiatives that the private sector is working on? Well, look, I mean, what the officials said yesterday is they're not recommending decoupling uh, by U.S. businesses or academia from China and Russia. And they cited a number of different programs that, that are in, engaged in right now by uh, U.S. companies. They said those can be beneficial. But they say you just have to be careful here in terms of understanding that the, oppor the business opportunity that's presented to you by a Chinese company, for example, may not be on the merits. It might not be that the Chinese company has decided that that is a good business opportunity. It might be uh, that they're being directed by the Chinese government to acquire that technology, whether it's an M&A deal or in hiring or in partnerships. So they're talking about a lot of money here, potentially, uh, in terms of U.S. R&D, but it's all in the private sector. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.